Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, Wikipedia article audio. The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, administered by the Nobel Foundation, is awarded once a year for outstanding discoveries in the fields of life sciences and medicine. It is one of five Nobel Prizes established in 1895 by Swedish chemist Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, in his will. Nobel was personally interested in experimental physiology and wanted to establish a prize for progress through scientific discoveries in laboratories. The Nobel Prize is presented to the recipient at an annual ceremony on December 10, the anniversary of Nobel's death, along with a diploma and a certificate for the monetary award. The front side of the medal provides the same profile of Alfred Nobel as depicted on the medals for physics, chemistry, and literature, its reverse side is unique to this medal. The most recent Nobel Prize was announced by Karolinska Institute on October 2, 2017 and has been awarded to three Americans Jeffrey Hall, Michael Rispash, and Michael Young for their discoveries of molecular mechanisms controlling the circadian rhythm. Background Nomination and Selection Prizes Medals Diplomas Award Money Ceremony and Banquet Laureates Time Factor and Death Controversial Inclusions and Exclusions Limits on Number of Awardees Years Without Awards Citations Sources as of 2015, 106 Nobel Prizes in Physiology or Medicine have been awarded to 198 men and 12 women. The first Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded in 1901 to the German physiologist Emil von Behring, for his work on serum therapy and the development of a vaccine against diphtheria. The first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, Gerdy Corey, received it in 1947 for her role in elucidating the metabolism of glucose, important in many aspects of medicine, including treatment of diabetes. Some awards have been controversial. This includes one to Antonio Agas Moniz in 1949 for the prefrontal leukotomy bestowed despite protests from the medical establishment. Other controversies resulted from disagreements over who was included in the award. The 1952 prize to Selman Waxman was litigated in court, and half the patent rights awarded to his CO discoverer Albert Schatz who was not recognized by the prize. The 1962 prize awarded to James D. Watson, Francis Crick, and Maurice Wilkins for their work on DNA structure and properties did not acknowledge the contributing work from others, such as Oswald Avery and Rosalind Franklin who had died by the time of the nomination. Since the Nobel Prize rules forbid nominations of the deceased, longevity is an asset one prize being awarded as long as 50 years after the discovery. Also forbidden is awarding any one prize to more than three recipients, and since in the last half century there has been an increasing tendency for scientists to work as teams, this rule has resulted in controversial exclusions. Alfred Nobel was born on October 21, 1833 in Stockholm. Sweden into a family of engineers. He was a chemist, engineer, and inventor who amassed a fortune during his lifetime, most of it from his 355 inventions of which dynamite is the most famous. He was interested in experimental physiology and set up his own labs in France and Italy to conduct experiments in blood transfusions. Keeping abreast of scientific findings, he was generous in his donations to Ivan Pavlov's laboratory in Russia, 
and was optimistic about the progress resulting from scientific discoveries made in laboratories. In 1888, Nobel was surprised to read his own obituary, titled The Merchant of Death is Dead, in a French newspaper. As it happened, it was Nobel's brother Ludwig who had died, but Nobel, unhappy with the content of the obituary and concerned that his legacy would reflect poorly on him, was inspired to change his will. In his last will, Nobel requested that his money be used to create a series of prizes for those who confer the greatest benefit on mankind in physics, chemistry, peace, physiology, or medicine, and literature. Though Nobel wrote several wills during his lifetime, the last was written a little over a year before he died at the age of 63. Because his will was contested, it was not approved by the Storting until April 26, 1897. After Nobel's death, the Nobel Foundation was set up to manage the assets of the bequest. In 1900, the Nobel Foundation's newly created statutes were promulgated by Swedish King Oscar II. According to Nobel's will, the Karolinska Institutet in Sweden, a medical school and research center, is responsible for the prize in physiology or medicine. Today, the prize is commonly referred to as the Nobel Prize in Medicine. It was important to Nobel that the prize be awarded for a discovery and that it was of greatest benefit on mankind. Per the provisions of the will, only select persons are eligible to nominate individuals for the award. These include members of academies around the world, professors of medicine in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, and Finland as well as professors of selected universities and research institutions in other countries. Past Nobel laureates may also nominate. Until 1977, all professors of Karolinska Institutet together decided on the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. That year, Changes in Swedish law forced the institute to make any documents pertaining to the Nobel Prize public and it was considered necessary to establish a legally independent body for the prize work. Therefore, the Nobel Assembly was constituted, consisting of 50 professors at Karolinska Institutet. It elects the Nobel Committee with five members who evaluate the nominees the secretary who is in charge of the organization, and each year ten adjunct members to assist in the evaluation of candidates. In 1968, a provision was added that no more than three persons may share a Nobel Prize. True to its mandate, the committee has selected researchers working in the basic sciences over those who have made applied contributions. Harvey Cushing a pioneering American neurosurgeon who identified Cushing's syndrome never was awarded the prize, nor was Sigmund Freud, as his psychoanalysis lacks hypotheses that can be tested experimentally. The public expected Jonas Salk or Albert Sabin to receive the prize for their development of the polio vaccines, but instead the award went to John Enders, Thomas Weller, and Frederick Robbins whose basic discovery that the polio virus could reproduce in monkey cells in laboratory preparations was a fundamental finding that led to the elimination of the disease of polio. Through the 1930s, there were frequent prize laureates in classical physiology, but after that the field began dissolving into specialties. The last classical physiology laureates were John Ecclesiastes, Alan Hodgkin, and Andrew Huxley in 1963 for their findings regarding unitary electrical events in the central and peripheral nervous system. A medicine or physiology Nobel Prize laureate earns a gold medal, a diploma bearing a citation, and a sum of money. These are awarded during the prize ceremony at the Stockholm Concert Hall. The Nobel Prize medals, minted by Mintverket in Sweden, 
are registered trademarks of the Nobel Foundation. Each medal features an image of Alfred Nobel in left profile on the obverse. The Nobel Prize medals for physics, chemistry, physiology, or medicine, and literature have identical obverse, showing the image of Alfred Nobel and the years of his birth and death. Before 1980, the medals were made of 2 3K gold, since then the medals are of 1 8K green gold, plated with 2 3K gold. The medal awarded by the Karolinska Institute displays an image of the genius of medicine holding an open book in her lap, collecting the water pouring out from a rock in order to quench a sick girl's thirst. The medal is inscribed with words taken from Virgil's Aeneid and reads, Inventus vitam juvat excaluis per arts, which translates to inventions enhance life which is beautified through art. Nobel laureates receive a diploma directly from the King of Sweden. Each diploma is uniquely designed by the prize awarding institutions for the laureate that receives it. In the case of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, that is the Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute. Well-known artists and calligraphers from Sweden are commissioned to create it. The diploma contains a picture and text which states the name of the laureate and a citation as to why they received the prize. The amount of prize money fluctuates depending on how much money the Nobel Foundation can award that year, and is awarded in Swedish kronor. The first award in 1901 was for 150,782 kronor. In 2009, the prize money totaled 10 million kronor. Due to budget cuts, in 2012, the amount for each Nobel Prize was 8 million Swedish krona, or 1.1 million US dollars. If there are two laureates in a particular category, the award grant is divided equally between the recipients. If there are three, the awarding committee has the option of dividing the grant equally, or awarding one half to one recipient and one quarter to each of the others. The awards are bestowed at a gala ceremony followed by a banquet. The Nobel banquet is an extravagant affair with the menu, planned months ahead of time kept secret until the day of the event. The Nobel Foundation chooses the menu after tasting and testing selections submitted by selected chefs of international repute. Currently it is a three-course dinner, although it was originally six courses when it began in 1901. Every Nobel Prize laureate is allowed to bring up to 16 guests, and Sweden's royal family is always there. Typically, the Prime Minister and other members of the government attend as well as representatives of the Nobel family. The first Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded in 1901 to the German physiologist Emil Adolf von Bering. Bering's discovery of serum therapy in the development of the diphtheria and tetanus vaccines put in the hands of the physician a victorious weapon against illness and deaths. In 1902, the award went to Ronald Ross for his work on malaria, by which he has shown how it enters the organism and thereby has laid the foundation for successful research on this disease and methods of combating it. He identified the mosquito as the transmitter of malaria, and worked tirelessly on measures to prevent malaria worldwide. The 1903 prize was awarded to Niels Ryberg Finsen the first Danish laureate, in recognition of his contribution to the treatment of diseases, especially lupus vulgaris, with concentrated light radiation, whereby he has opened a new avenue for medical science. He died within a year after receiving the prize at the age of 43. Ivan Pavlov, whose work Nobel admired and supported, received the prize in 1904 for his work on the physiology of digestion. Subsequently, 
those selecting the recipients have exercised wide latitude in determining what falls under the umbrella of physiology or medicine. The awarding of the prize in 1973 to Nikolaus Tinbergen, Conrad Lorenz, and Carl von Frisch for their observations of animal behavioral patterns could be considered a prize in the behavioral sciences rather than medicine or physiology. Tinbergen expressed surprise in his Nobel Prize acceptance speech at the unconventional decision of the Nobel Foundation to award this year's prize for physiology or medicine to three men who had until recently been regarded as mere animal watchers. Laureates have been awarded the Nobel Prize in a wide range of fields that relate to physiology or medicine. As of 2010, Eight prizes have been awarded for contributions in the field of signal transduction through G-proteins and second messengers. Thirteen have been awarded for contributions in the field of neurobiology and thirteen have been awarded for contributions in intermediary metabolism. The 100 Nobel Prizes in Physiology or Medicine have been awarded to 195 individuals through 2009. Ten women have received the prize, Jerdy Corey, Rosalind Yellow, Barbara McClintock, Rita Levi-Montalcini, Gertrude B. Elian, Christiane Nusslein Valhard, Linda B. Buck, Francoise Barsinissi, Elizabeth H. Blackburn, and Carol W. Greider. Only one woman, Barbara McClintock, has received an unshared prize in this category for the discovery of genetic transposition. Mario Capucci, Martin Evans, and Oliver Smithies was awarded the prize in 2007 for the discovery of a gene-targeting procedure for introducing homologous recombination in mice, employing embryonic stem cells through the development of the knockout mouse. There have been 37 times when the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to a single individual, 31 times when it was shared by two, and 33 times there were three laureates. In 2009, the Nobel Prize was awarded to Elizabeth Blackburn, Carol W. Greider and Jack W. Sostak of the United States for discovering the process by which chromosomes are protected by telomeres and the enzyme telomerase, they shared the prize of 10 million Swedish kronor. Rita Levi Montalcini, an Italian neurologist, who together with colleague Stanley Cohen, received the 1986 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of nerve growth factor, was the first Nobel laureate to reach the 100th birthday. Because of the length of time that may pass before the significance of a discovery becomes apparent, some prizes are awarded many years after the initial discovery. Barbara McClintock made her discoveries in 1944 before the structure of the DNA molecule was known, she was not awarded the prize until 1983. Similarly, in 1916 Peyton Rouse discovered the role of tumor viruses in chickens, but was not awarded the prize until 50 years later, in 1966. Nobel laureate Carol Greider's research leading to the prize was conducted over 20 years before. She noted that the passage of time is an advantage in the medical sciences, as it may take many years for the significance of a discovery to become apparent. In 2011, Canadian immunologist Ralph M. Steinman was awarded the prize, however, unknown to the committee, he had died three days before the announcement. The committee decided that since the prize was awarded in good faith, it would be allowed to stand. Some of the awards have been controversial. The person who was deserving of the 1923 prize for the discovery of insulin as a central hormone for controlling diabetes has been heatedly debated. It was shared between Frederick Banting and John McLeod, this infuriated Banting who regarded McLeod's involvement as minimal. 
McLeod was the department head at the University of Toronto but otherwise was not directly involved in the findings. Banting thought his laboratory partner Charles Best, who had shared in the laboratory work of discovery, should have shared the prize with him as well. In fairness, he decided to give half of his prize money to Best. McLeod on his part felt the biochemist James Collip, who joined the laboratory team later, deserved to be included in the award and shared his prize money with him. Some maintain that Nikolai Paulescu, a Romanian professor of physiology at the University of Medicine and Pharmacy in Bucharest, was the first to isolate insulin, in 1916, although his pancrane was an impure aqueous extract unfit for human treatment similar to the one used previously by Israel Kleiner. In the paper that brought him the Nobel, Paulescu already held a patent for his discovery Pancrana si procedule fabricati eei slash pancrane and the process of making it, from the Romanian Ministry of Industry and Trade. In 1949, despite protests from the medical establishment, the Portuguese neurologist Antonio Agas Moniz received the Physiology or Medicine Prize for his development of the prefrontal leukotomy, which he promoted by declaring the procedure's success just 10 days post-operative. Due largely to the publicity surrounding the award, it was prescribed without regard for modern medical ethics. Favorable results were reported by such publications as the New York Times. It is estimated that around 40,000 lobotomies were performed in the United States before the procedure's popularity faded. Joseph Kennedy, the father of John Kennedy, subjected his daughter, Rosemary, to the procedure which incapacitated her to the degree that she needed to be institutionalized for the rest of her life. The 1952 prize, awarded solely to Selman Waxman for his discovery of streptomycin, omitted the recognition some felt due to his CO discoverer Albert Schatz. There was litigation brought by Schatz against Waxman over the details and credit of the streptomycin discovery, Schatz was awarded a substantial settlement, and, together with Waxman, Schatz was to be officially recognized as a CO discoverer of streptomycin as concerned patent rights. However, he is not recognized as a Nobel Prize laureate. The 1962 prize awarded to James D. Watson, Francis Crick and Maurice Wilkins for their work on DNA structure and properties did not recognize contributing work from others, such as Alex Stokes and Herbert Wilson. In addition, Erwin Chargaff, Oswald Avery, and Rosalind Franklin contributed directly to the ability of Watson and Crick to solve the structure of the DNA molecule but Avery died in 1955, and Franklin in 1958 and posthumous nominations for the Nobel Prize are not permitted. However, Recently unsealed files of the Nobel Prize nominations reveal that no one ever nominated Franklin for the prize when she was alive. Wilkins' crucial contribution was to show Rosalind Franklin's key X-ray photos to Watson. As a result of Watson's misrepresentations of Franklin and her role in the discovery of the double helix in his book The Double Helix, Franklin has come to be portrayed as a classic victim of sexism in science. Chargaff, for his part, was not quiet about his exclusion from the prize, bitterly writing to other scientists about his disillusionment regarding the field of molecular biology. The 2008 award went to Harold Zuerhausen in recognition of his discovery that human papillomavirus can cause cervical cancer and to Francoise Barsinacy and Luc Montagnier for discovering the human immunodeficiency virus. Whether Robert Gallo or Luc Montagnier deserved more credit for the discovery of the virus that causes AIDS has been a matter of considerable controversy. As it was, Gallo was left out and not awarded a prize. 
Additionally, there was scandal when it was learned that Harold Zuerhausen was being investigated for having a financial interest in vaccines for the cervical cancer that HPV can cause. AstraZeneca, who with a stake in two lucrative HPV vaccines could benefit financially from the prize, had agreed to sponsor Nobel Media and Nobel Web. According to Times Online, Two senior figures in the selection process that chose Zuerhausen also had strong links with AstraZeneca. The provision that restricts the maximum number of nominees to three for any one prize, introduced in 1968, has caused considerable controversy. From the 1950s onward, there has been an increasing trend to award the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to more than one person. There were 59 people who received the prize in the first 50 years of the last century, while 113 individuals received it between 1951 and 2000. This increase could be attributed to the rise of the international scientific community after World War II resulting in more persons being responsible for the discovery, and nominated for, a particular prize. Also, current biomedical research is more often carried out by teams rather than by scientists working alone, making it unlikely that any one scientist, or even a few, is primarily responsible for a discovery. This has meant that a prize nomination that would have to include more than three contributors is automatically excluded from consideration. Also, deserving contributors may not be nominated at all because the restriction results in a cut-off point of three nominees per prize, leading to controversial exclusions. There have been nine years in which the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was not awarded. Most of these occurred during either World War I or World War II. In 1939, Adolf Hitler s Third Reich forbade Gerhard Domach to accept his prize. He was later able to receive the diploma and medal but not the money.